WWE and UFC jumping in the ring together. And they'll now form a new publicly traded company worth more than $20 billion. It's controlled by Endeavor, who will own 51%. The deal values WWE at $9.3 billion. And owner Vince McMahon will stay on board as executive chairman. Keep your eye on that. However, shares of both WWE and Endeavor taking a hit today during today's session. Joining us now is Steve Olenek, Mintz's chair of sports and entertainment practice. Good to see you, sir. So investors were not impressed by this merger. Why are you? I'm very impressed by it. Don't ever count out Vincent K. McMahon. We've got deal makers. We've got deal visionaries. We've got marketers. We've got promoters. We've got content is king in in an area where there's going to be lots of cross promotion, brand creation, star creation. Look at what they're doing as a company as a whole. They can cross pollinate. They can increase their value across the board. Global reach, massive platform. This is a great opportunity. Steve, look at the names up on our screen because it's a huge opportunity, but I think a lot of people are asking what exactly this leadership dynamics, how that is going to play out, how this culture is going to be when you have Ari, Vince, Mark, Nick, list goes on, Dana White also in the room. What does that look like? Deal maker, deal maker, marketer, promoter, fantastic visionary. This is fantastic. Who this doesn't might want be this? the most volatile cocktail in business history, Steve. No. You're telling me this is just smooth so. sailing ahead? No, I think it's going to be fantastic TV come boardroom. Oh, let's, it will let's be. Let's see that. I, I definitely want to see that. I think we'll have a great time watching in, but I definitely think this company is going to be a huge splash. Great pipeline in terms of M&A, global reach. This is going to be fantastic. Any reason to be questioning this? Because at least from an investor standpoint, yes, I think it's clear from today's reaction, WWE investors were hoping for a different outcome. Any reason that maybe this isn't going to turn out to what you're sounding? It's all about about execution, right? Mm -hmm. You put this company together, you look at the wheel, you look at the synergies, you do some cost cutting, you do some integration, you look at an M&A pipeline, and then you try to really blow that out and forecast it to really put together that blue chip white shoe company. And that's what everyone wants. I, I do want to get into the media rights deal, which will be one of the most fascinating dynamics as we move forward. Will they move forward in that nature together, WWE and the UFC, and, and where will we see these media rights? Will we see an Apple and Amazon get involved? What's the future? Great question. Now, with the combination of the both, they're going to be looking at the talent inside to be absolutely, absolutely be able to do the deal. You're going to have Nick Khan. You're going to have Dana White. You're going to have Vince McMahon. You're going to have one of the best deal makers out there, Ari Emanuel. You're going to be able to use that intellectual capital to do the right deal and strike with the right companies. What do you think about just in terms of what needs to be done before this deal gets done? Because you've been involved in a number of negotiations like this. What does the next several months look like? Yeah, I mean, you got to always look at the regulatory. You got to look at in terms of getting the right approvals, what's going to be needed, how they're going to look at it. If there is going to be any type of scrutiny, you're going to have to look at the consolidation, the integration, look at everyone's P&L, kind of look at that, work with your financial stakeholders and try to put together the pieces to put that groundwork together to build out the company in terms of the vision of where they're going to go. WWE had a market cap around $6 billion. They're valued at more than nine uh, as a part of this deal. Was price tag, do you think, the main driving force behind this marriage, or was it something else? I, I think if you look at what Vince said, he wanted to get that over $9 billion, and look what he got. Sure, Ari may have paid a little bit more in terms of a control premium, but they got what he wanted. So I think in terms of putting the two companies together, I think it's a fantastic outcome. What do you think about the number of suitors? Because in an interview in CNBC, McMahon made it sound like there was a number of companies that were interested in WWE. Yeah, I think it just depends on, once again, you're going to have a lot of suitors, but at what price, right? And oftentimes, you get a lot of people that will tire kick and start to look. But more often than not, you're going to have to see and find the right buyer. Uh, Vince McMahon said, uh, at least the, the narrative is that he, did, he was staying out of this and that Ari wanted him to stay. Do you buy that? 100%. They wanted his involvement in this moving forward. Legendary person, visionary. Look what he created. Great storyteller. The story's unwritten. 
great WrestleMania. Hopefully you guys watched it. Fantastic. I didn't. 80,000 people, two it, nights, right? It, it, Out in LA. Does the scandal go away? It doesn't appear to be entirely behind them. Yeah, I, I mean, payouts to the women. If, if of course you haven't uh, tuned in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think something like that. I mean, I, I don't think that was probably looked at in terms of the deal. In terms of, I think the lawyers probably looked at that and made a, a risk assessment tied to that. But I don't think that was going to prohibit a deal like this to ever happen or to prevent a deal like this to happen. So I think in terms of what both companies wanted and what they actually got out of it, fantastic outcome. We definitely need a camera in that boardroom. We that do. we can agree. That is pay-per-view. <laughs> Steve Olenek, good to see you, sir. Thanks. Thank you.